So check out these gorgeous tree ferns behind me. It's still only spring, so this is the first lot of fronds that I've unfurled from when we initially took off all the winter protection. Now, if I had a pound for every time I saw a naked tree fern over the past few years, I'd probably have about 70 quid on me. Uh, and that's only because they're so expensive nowadays. It's only the likes of Rishi Sunak's wife and Elon Musk who can afford them. So anyway, somebody left a message in the comment section saying, Simon, no, you're doing it wrong. You need to acclimatize tree ferns so that they can survive in our lovely English climate. Well, I'm telling you, you're absolutely wrong. Check this out. Look at them. A tree fern is a veritable freak of nature. And the reason they look like this is because they've evolved over millions of years to survive in the bizarre climate of Tasmanian cloud forests. Not the hot, dry savannas of the south coast of England. Now you and I both know that the Tasmanian cloud forests receive about 3.7 meters of rain every year, which is approximately five times the amount of rainfall that we would get in the south of England. So if you think you can maintain this kind of condition on tree ferns with the water that's gonna come out of the sky, I'm afraid that you are sadly wrong. You need to give these bad boys plenty of water. You need to water them in the morning and you need to water them in the afternoon. And I'm talking about maybe a litre, possibly two litres each at each watering. But that's not enough because once a week you need to do a proper watering. And this is how you do that. You get yourself a hose and you completely soak this trunk. This trunk is like a massive fibrous water bottle and this can take about 10 litres, maybe more of water. But you've got to get it properly soaked all the way around. And once it's soaked, you put your hose in the top and you water it and you keep watering it until you start seeing seepage all the way down the trunk. Now all this watering will cause its own problem because it's going to dilute and leach out any nutrition that's inside this trunk. And to mitigate that, you need to mix up a couple of litres of miracle Grow, but not the regular dosage. You need to double, possibly triple dose it during the, uh, the growing season. And you pour that in through the crown once you've done your watering. And that way, all your nutrition is gonna be up the top here, where all your roots are, where your meristems are, the best place that it needs to be. So there you have it. If your tree ferns are looking knackered, and you want to try and bring them back into condition, then it's those two things. Loads and loads and loads and loads of water. And once you finish watering, loads and loads of food. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, stick those in the comments. Thank you for watching.